I'm going to let Mr. Gein answer the question of how he thinks illegals will be covered under health care if that passes in an amnesty bill. Well, the illegals are already covered. Um, that's why many of them are here. Um, it's quite often uh, referred to as there's a lot of what's going on birth tourism. Uh, the, the smugglers, uh, the organized crime syndicates, which are bringing in 90 plus percent of our drugs and illegal aliens. It's not some type of chaotic thing. According to congressional reports, this is organized crime. Um, they'll even instruct women exactly on the best times to conceive um, to maximize the viability of the fetus through the difficult crossing, yet be born as soon as possible on U.S. soil to establish the anchor. Um, we are pay being forced to pay billions upon billions of dollars in health care. And, and what had happened recently inside the hospitals, the way it had worked was, um, illegal aliens were not supposed to be um, qualified for Medicaid. They, if you call the, the deepest researcher in the bowels of the North Carolina General Assembly back four or five years ago, like I did, and play phone tag for two weeks, you get some number, they claim only about $20 million was being spent on the half a million <coughs> illegal aliens in the state. And I'm like, $20 million, I mean, you know, that's a big lump to you and I, but for half a million people, I just didn't buy it. So I looked a little closer and what was happening was, um, the hospitals were not required to ask their status. And they would not ask their status because if they asked their status, they wouldn't be able to process them for Medicaid, which means they didn't get paid with your money, okay? The pattern that we're seeing is the pattern that you've seen under Bush, Obama, up until this point. An insolvent federal government throwing bags of your future money to bankrupt companies. Uh -huh. All right? And, and, and you, have, you weren't asked. They didn't read it. Congress wasn't asked. The entire system itself, and I appreciate what Dr. Fisher is saying about ABC and CBS, but the entire superstructure in this country between the media, the politicians and the corporations, the ones that have been running the show, that have run this country into the ground, at this point is so inaccessible, I have to be honest with you, I don't think that you can expect any audits, I don't think you can expect any accountability, I don't think you can expect any real change in the destructive behavior now that we hope and pray isn't being governed by some outside interest, but we have to just hope and pray about that. You're not going to see that change until you throw this established order down. It will take nothing short of a political revolution in this country. A time that people look back in in history and say that this was when the American people reasserted themselves over their own government. And until that happens, no change. And at our point right now, our major strategy nationally, our basic strategy is we don't want this Congress or the President to do what we call the three nation breakers. We're trying, we're fighting tooth and nail to give the American public one more shot at this, because I believe you got one more shot in 2010. And I believe if you don't get it right in 2010, I hope I'm wrong, but I think that's it. And right now, I don't even know if you're gonna get that shot, okay? I don't know if you're gonna, the three, one of the three nation breakers are gonna pass. Uh, one is censorship of free speech on the web and talk radio. Two is an abridgment of Second Amendment rights, which changes the power relationship between the people and this government. And three is, of course, the mass amnesty turning over 15 million illegal aliens into voters. Each of those three is what we call the nation breakers. We're trying to slow them down. This health care thing is important. The illegal immigration is important. And every day, Obama's numbers drop with another percent point, which means he's less likely to get his amnesty through. And that's what I want you to do. I want you to fight tooth and nail every day to slow them down. We are buying the rest of our fellow countrymen and women time to wake up, smell the coffee, and get on board for the 2010 revolution. That's right.